What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I am back. I'm back in the U.S., back in California, and I uh, had a, a, a long trip yesterday. So I got back, didn't put out a video yesterday because I was pretty much at the airport all day. So in today's video, I want to talk about the jobs report. Now, I know this came out yesterday, but because I couldn't put out a video, I want to put out a video because I think it's very important for us to focus on this. Uh, people who are on fixed income, people on Social Security, people receiving SSI, SSDI. Uh, this is very important for you because there's some information in here in these jobs reports that will let us know kind of the future uh, when it comes to those programs. So that's what we're going to focus on today. But first off on this channel, we talk about financial news and what's going on in Washington, D.C. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification. That way you get notified anytime we put out a video. And like always, if you see my name and a picture of me in the comment section, make sure you see a check mark next to my name. That check mark signifies that it's me. If you do not see that check mark, it's not me. It's someone trying to impersonate me. OK, so I want to talk about my trip really quickly. Uh, just to kind of give you guys uh, an update. So I'm back in the US. I stayed in Colombia for about seven weeks and I had a wonderful time, a real good time. I was able to learn a lot more Spanish and that's kind of my goal when it comes to Colombia. Uh, because I have friends in Colombia now, it, it, it makes sense to go out there and hang out with them and learn the language with them. And for me, just for me, I think this is the most effective way for me to learn Spanish. And so I plan to go back in two months. I'll be back in July. And I'll, I'll be there from July until I don't know exactly sometime in September. I haven't decided uh, when I will return uh, back to the U.S., uh, but it was a great time. It was a great time. And if you guys I'm going to be putting out more videos on my other channel, Everything David, and I'll have a link at the end of this video so you guys can go over there and go to that channel and please subscribe to that channel as well. I'm going to be putting out content there, my travel content. Now, I posted a few videos, but I took some time off when I was out in Colombia because I was just filming, filming, and I didn't uh, put any videos together. So now what my plan is to start launching some more videos on that channel so you'll see more videos coming out. I think the last video I put out was like 10 days ago or maybe even longer than that. So my, my plan is to, to put more content on that channel as well, maybe at least twice per week. That'll be the goal. Okay, so let's talk about this jobs report. And I, I found this information on Morning Brew. Uh, let, actually, let me come back. Morning Brew, if you guys don't know what Morning Brew is, it is a newsletter, and every morning you get this this uh, newsletter, and it's a really good way of, of finding out what's going on uh, in, in the world and in, in the U.S. It's, it's a really good way because you can read it, and it takes no more than two to three minutes to read this little um, newsletter, and they give you a lot of valuable information. I go, it's my go-to. I will all when I wake up in the morning, I look at Morning Brew, and then I start looking at some of the other news outlets. So let me just show you, and this is a, a quick um, little part talking about the economy when it comes to uh, the jobs report. Okay, so the April's jobs report yesterday showed a labor market that continued to chug along despite all the workers playing hard to get. Now, this is important for us to focus on, okay? And I, I'm gonna kind of go back and forth. I don't have all everything that I usually have when it comes to my setup, so I need to kind of get, I just got in late last night, so I didn't have time to set up everything, but once I can set up everything, then you know I have the little pin where I can write and show you guys what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna kind of go back and forth in this video. Now, I read this somewhere. I don't know if it was on Morning Brew, but when it comes to jobs, there's two jobs for every one applicant. So if you're an applicant, you're looking for a job, you have a wide variety of different jobs to choose from because there are a lot of jobs that are available but you don't have as many people that are looking for those jobs. And so that means if you're looking for a job, you could probably find a job that pays you more as well as has better benefits. Uh, I know there's some, some friends of mine that are now working remotely. They don't have to go into an office anymore. Uh, I, when I was in Colombia, I had a friend that was in Colombia and he was working from home <laughs> in Colombia. Uh, so it's, it's pretty amazing how things are now and, and, and how uh, jobs are being more and more flexible because they realize that they need to fill these positions, but not everyone is coming to them and, and looking for a job. So they're, they're having to make these concessions. So let, that, that's one thing. That's one thing that was really, really important when it comes to uh, the jobs market. When we're looking at things, there are a lot of jobs that are available and there are a select number of people uh, for those jobs. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue here. U.S. employers added a more than expected 428,000 jobs, and the unemployment rate remained at a very low 3.6%. The economy has recovered almost 95% of the jobs lost due to COVID. So good information. We're back to about 95%. We're looking at 3.6%. 
when it comes to the, the unemployment rate. And that is a good number for us to focus on. And now I preface this video by saying, I said people on social security, people receiving SSI, SSDI, why this would benefit them, retirees, everyone. When we're looking at the economy, if the economy's doing well, then guess what? If you're retired, you're gonna be better off if you have a 401k. If you're receiving social security benefits, you're gonna be better off if we're looking at a 3.6% uh, when it comes to unemployment, because that means a lot of people are working. The more people that are working, the more people that are paying into the payroll tax. You pay into the payroll tax, that money is going to social security to help with the benefits, okay? So that's a good thing, those are good numbers. Now the fear is, the fear is that we have the Federal Reserve, they're raising interest rates, will that, cool off the economy because that's their plan and will it cool off the economy too much to where we fall into a recession because if we are in a situation where we fall into a recession that means you're going to have less people in the workforce if you have less people in the workforce it's the opposite of what we're seeing right now we're going to see less money because less payroll taxes are collected so less money for social security uh, so we want we want those low numbers we want that 3.6 percent when it comes to the unemployment rate uh, we want to have as many people working as possible when it comes to the paying the payroll tax, okay? And not only payroll tax, we're also talking about Medicare, okay? Because when you work, you also pay into Medicare. And it's it's a smaller portion, I think it's about 2.9% or something like that. Uh, so, and that's between you and your employer. And so the more people are working, the more people are paying into Medicare, and then Medicare has uh, more benefits to offer as well. And so it's very important for us to focus on these jobs reports because every month we get a jobs report from the previous month. And we wanna follow that because that will give us an indication of how they're doing when it comes to uh, money going to social security. And one other thing that we need to focus on, we, don't, we can't just focus on the jobs report. We also need to focus on the politicians, okay? We need to make sure that they're holding their end of the bargain. We need to make sure that if they're making promises, they're keeping those promises. And so we'll have to see what happens in the next few months, but we know this is a midterm election. And so that means that politicians are gonna be held to account for what they've done in the last two years. And so we'll have to follow it and see where that goes as well. If you guys have questions, post them down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It is great to be home. It really is great to be home and I'll have more content. I'll be able to, now that I have, I'm back in my studio, I can shoot more content. Uh, one thing that I struggled with when I was traveling is every place that I went to, I had to set up a new studio. And then I go somewhere else, set up a new studio, or just do a, a quick video on my on my, my GoPro or, or whatever camera that I was using at the time. So it was very hard for me to do that, plus do the research, plus be out in, in a, a foreign country trying to uh, gather uh, information, gather news from the US. It's, it's a little difficult. So now that I'm back in the studio, I can put out videos much quicker. And in some videos, I'm gonna do multiple updates. So stay tuned for that. So subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.